One of the great things about podcasting is that the tools to record, edit, and publish your show keep getting better and better. I'm Brian Ensminger. I'm a podcaster and a podcast editor at toptieraudio.com. After you finish recording, it's time to edit, and this can be one of the most time-consuming parts of the process. Fortunately, there are tools like Hindenburg Journalist Pro, which are built specifically for storytelling rather than for music. Before you start editing, you'll want to make sure that you've selected the correct interface. Depending on where you are, you may want to edit using headphones or studio monitors. For headphones, plug your headphones into the quarter-inch output and set the headphone level. For powered studio monitors, connect your quarter-inch connectors to the back of the interface, and then use the monitor control on the front of the Scarlett 2i2 to set the volume. Because it's built for storytelling, Hindenburg Journalist Pro offers features that help make mixing and editing faster and easier. I'm going to talk about those as we go along, and I'll follow a really general order of operations. It's a really generic editing process. Just be aware that some people do things differently, and that's okay. You can do what works for you. In order to make mixing faster and easier, Hindenburg offers the Voice Profiler. It's a way to apply EQ and compression. You might think of this as a one-click solution to make your voices more radio-ready. Click this arrow and select Generic Profile. Hindenburg will scan the audio and apply equalization and compression. You can see what it's done by opening the effect, and you can adjust the EQ curve by clicking and moving. If you'd rather handle effects manually, open the effects interface and select the effects that you'd like. Hindenburg comes with a stock equalizer and a stock compressor. Or you can add third-party plugins, audio units for Apple or VST for Windows. These could include the Focusrite Red Series equalizer and compressor that you can download after purchasing the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. Additionally, Focusrite has some new fast plugins that are available for purchase, like the Fast EQ and the Fast Compressor that are designed to help you dial in your settings quickly and then tweak them to taste. Hindenburg Journalist Pro can even help you remove persistent background noise. And if you'd like to change the order of effects, simply click and move them where you'd like them. To bring in additional elements, like a show opening, simply move them from your desktop into the Montage window. You'll see that Hindenburg will auto-level each one as you bring it in. That gets you to a good starting point. If you'd like to save elements for use across multiple sessions, enable Favorites. Copy and paste the elements there. This will save them for use again and again. To move multiple regions, simply Control-click or Command-click and move them where you'd like them. Now, if you have more than one participant, you may want to take advantage of Hindenburg Journalist Pro's new Magic Levels feature. It'll apply an adaptive leveler, auto mix, reduce bleed, and duck music all in a single step. You can use it on a single track to only use the adaptive leveler. Apply it to multiple spoken word tracks to use the auto mix and reduce mic bleed, or spoken word plus music to enable ducking. Of course, you can do all of this manually as well. If you'd like to adjust the volume of an entire track, use the output fader. If you'd like to adjust only one region, click on the top of that region and move it up or down. This also works for multiple regions or for a selected portion of a region. Hindenburg will automatically create a fade for a smooth transition. You can adjust the timing of the fade or the slope of the fade. To create a fade, either select a portion of the region and choose Fade from the Edit menu, or select the handle at the top corner of a region and move it to create a fade. If you'd like to shorten a region, move the extreme end of the region to where you would like it to be. This works at the beginning or the end, and also works for fades. To break up a region, Place the playhead and select Split. This can also be applied to a selection. This makes it easy to create space for additional elements like transition music, stingers, and ads. To remove unwanted sounds from a non-speaking track, select around the sound and clear the audio. 
This is like removing something from Microsoft Paint. It leaves an empty space. If you'd like to affect the timeline, select around a word or a sound and click Cut. This is like deleting a word from Microsoft Word. Everything after it on that track will be moved forward. Of course, this can cause things to get out of sync if you're not careful, so let's undo that. To keep things in sync, you can select across multiple tracks. To make things easier, Hindenburg also has the option to link tracks. This will apply edits to multiple tracks at the same time and keep them aligned. Control-click on the track names and right-click and then select Link Tracks. Right-click on the track name again and select Unlink Tracks to unlink them. If you're editing and you want to save something for another use in the same session, you can copy it to the clipboard. Select the range that you'd like to save, then copy and paste. If you've finished editing something and you want all of your edits to be glued together in a single new region, select the range of regions you're interested in and choose Merge. But like everything else in Hindenburg, it's non-destructive, so you can unmerge it if you'd like. Now that you're done editing, it's time to publish. Check out the next video to see how this can be easier than ever before.